Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss average linkage hierarchical clustering with agglomerative method with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a data set with five data points that is A, B, C, D, E. Also, the distance matrix is given to us. That means uh, the distance from A to all other data points, B to all other data points is given to us. That is A to B, A to C, A to D, B to A, B to C, B to D and so on. All these things are given to us. Given this uh, distance matrix, uh, we need to apply average linkage hierarchy clustering with agglomerative method and then we need to create the different uh, clusters here. Finally, we need to draw the dendrogram in this case. Now, uh, we are using uh, average linkage agglomerative clustering algorithm. So, that's the reason we need to use uh, average formula here. That is the distance between two clusters that is A and B is always equal to average of the distance between the two clusters that is uh, distance between x y where x is present in the first cluster and y is present in second cluster over here now because it's the average here what we need to do is uh, we need to add all those distances divided by the number of data points in the first cluster multiplied by number of data points in the second cluster we need to take so that you will get the final average distance here so this is the formula we use to update the weight matrix at the later stage now we will start with the given data set. The data set contains uh, five data points here. We will consider all these uh, five data points as the singleton uh, clusters here. That is a cluster containing one data point. Uh, that is C1 is equal to A, B, C, D, E. Separately, five clusters are there here. Now uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to identify two clusters with a minimum distance. If you look at this uh, distance matrix uh, carefully, the minimum distance in this case is two. That is between C and E here. So, what we do is uh, we will combine C and E into one uh, cluster here. So, what we do is we will remove this row and this column. We will combine this E to C here. So, once you do that thing, uh, it will look uh, something like this. Now, uh, what actually happened here? Previously, we were having five clusters. Now, in the second case, we were having uh, uh, four clusters here. The first cluster containing A as the one data point. Second one is B. Third one is D. And fourth one is uh, C E here. Now, once you merge this uh, C and E into one uh, group, uh, we don't know the distance from these uh, C, E to A, C, E to B and C, E to D. So, those distance we need to calculate where we are going to use this average linkage uh, uh, agglomerative clustering method here. That is, we need to calculate the average distance in this case. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate the average distance. For that reason, what we do here is uh, we will try to calculate the distance from C, E to all other data points here. That is the distance uh, from uh, C E to A here in the first case that is average of distance from C to A and a distance from E to A here. Now we know the distance from C to A. What is the distance from C to A? That is 3 here. The distance from uh, E to A is also known to us that is 11 in this case. Because it is average what we need to do? We need to add these two things that is 3 plus 11 divided by the total number of data points in the first cluster and the total number of uh, uh, data points in the second cluster we need to take the multiplication which is equal to 7 here. Similarly, we will try to calculate the distance from C to the second data point that is B here, that is uh, C to B and then E to B here. Because it is again average here, uh, we know the distance from C to B that is equal to 7 here. E to B is 10 divided by the total number of data points in first cluster is 2. Number of data points second cluster is 1 here, which is equal to 8.5. Similarly, we will calculate the distance from C to D, which is equal to 8.5 here. We will update this weight matrix. Uh, once you update the weight matrix, it looks something like this here. Now we will consider this weight matrix for further iterations here. From this uh, distance matrix, what we need to do is uh, we need to identify two clusters with a minimum distance. Now if you look at here, uh, the minimum distance in this case is 5 here between uh, B and D. So what we do is uh, we will remove this uh, D row and D column. We will club this uh, D into B here. Once you do that thing, uh, it will look something like this. Again. Uh, we have clubbed B and D into one uh, cluster here. Because of that, we don't know the distance from BD to A and BD to CE here. So that's the reason what we need to do. We need to use average linkage uh, agglomerative clustering method. Again, we need to calculate the updated uh, uh, weight matrix values here. So that's the reason what we do here. First, we will calculate the distance from BD to A here. That is the first thing required for us. That is nothing but average distance from B to A plus uh, uh, D to A here. B to A is known to us that is equal to 9. D to A is also known to us that is equal to 6. 9 plus 6 divided by 
2 into 1 because two number of data points are present in first cluster, one data point in second cluster which is equivalent to 7.5 here. Similarly, we will calculate the distance from BD to CE here. In this case, we need to calculate the distance something like this. Uh, distance from B to C, B to E, D to C and D to E divided by total number of data points in first cluster and number of data points in second cluster that is 2 into 2 which is equivalent to 8.5 here. Now we need to update this weight matrix. Updated weight matrix looks something like this. Again, I will consider this updated weight matrix for the further iteration. Uh, from this uh, again uh, updated weight matrix, we need to identify one uh, value which is minimum between the two clusters here. If you look at it uh, carefully, 7 is the minimum in this case between cluster A and CE here. So what we do is we will combine A and CE in this case. Once you combine A and CE, we will get ACE as the one cluster and BD will be the another cluster in this case. So there is a small typo here. This should be D in this case. Now uh, again, we don't know the distance from ACE to BD. This distance is not known to us. So what we need to do is we need to calculate that distance. Uh, the distance from uh, ACE to BD uh, that can be calculated using again the average uh, linkage agglomerative clustering method. Average between uh, uh, distance from A to B, A to D. That's the first one here. C to B, C to D. That is the second one. E to B and E to D. These are the uh, three groups we will get. We need to put all the values here divided by number of data points in the first cluster multiplied by number of data points in the second cluster that is 3 into 2 here. Now once you solve it, you will get 8.16 and this is how the updated weight matrix looks like. Now if you look at this weight matrix, there are only two clusters are there. Uh, so there is no need to look at the minimum distance and all. What we need to do is we need to club these uh, two clusters into one cluster. Uh, we will be getting the final, uh, we can say that uh, one cluster, that is what the main goal of agglomerative clustering method. We will start with the singleton clusters. Finally, we will get, uh, we should get uh, one cluster in this case. So, we got that particular thing. So, the meaning is we have achieved the goal in this case. Now, finally, what we need to do is we need to draw the dendrogram here. So, to draw the dendrogram, uh, what we did here is uh, we have merged C and E first. So, that's the reason we have drawn this uh, uh, merging at the first place. After that, we have merged B and D. After that, we have merged A with CE, that is the third part. After that, we have merged ACE to BD here, that is the last one in this case. This is how the dendrogram looks like for the given data set. Now, what we need to do is, based on the number of uh, required clusters, we need to uh, cut this uh, dendrogram and then we will get the required number of clusters here. For example, if you are interested in two clusters, what we need to do is, we need to cut this uh, dendrogram over here. You will get two clusters, one cluster containing ACE and second cluster in, uh, containing BD here. Let us say that you are interested in uh, two cl three clusters. We will cut this uh, dendrogram somewhere here. You will get uh, one cluster with uh, A as a data point, second cluster containing uh, CE as the data point and third cluster containing uh, BD as the data point and so on. So this is how uh, we will be able to get the clusters based on our requirement in this case. So in this video, I have discussed uh, how can we apply average linkage agglomerative clustering algorithm for the given data set and uh, group the data point into different uh, clusters as well as how to draw the dendrogram for the given data set. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.